from My News 26 and CCTV. It's high school football, coming to you this season from schools throughout the region. This 26 Sports and CCTV High School Football presentation is brought to you by Wolverine Power Cooperative and Great Lakes Energy. Your local electric cooperative is looking out for you. And by Munson Healthcare Cadillac Rehab Services. Good evening and welcome back to the start of the game here as the Cadillac Vikings uh, make their way onto the field. Dan Gusser, Elena Hess, and Bill Dooley bringing you the action. And we are just moments away from our national anthem. Here it is. And a beautiful rendition of our national anthem by the Cadillac High School Marching Band under the direction of Mr. Mike Filkins. And uh, it's homecoming, Dan, and we yeah. got a huge crowd here tonight. It's nice to see a big crowd out there. Um, a lot of excitement in the air, as always, for homecoming. Uh, just a great event, and when you get the beautiful day that we've had in northern Michigan with all the parades and all the tailgating and all the things going on here, um, on the Cadillac Schools Complex just makes for a great night. And it's perfect weather for football. Not too hot, not too cold, basically no wind. So there's there's going to be no effect as far as the, the wind goes tonight. Uh, Cadillac and uh, Traverse City West, longtime rivals uh, West right now this year, comes in, in undefeated, 6-0, and 3-0 and in the Big North. Uh, Cadillac is... Uh, They've got one victory under their belt, so obviously they're not going to make the playoffs this year, but this is their chance, Dan, to play a ranked Division I team. That's got to be pretty special, too. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, this can make a kids uh, make a team a coach's season when you uh, knock off somebody this powerful. So it would be nice to see if that happens for the Vikings tonight, and certainly uh, TC, they've got bigger things on mind, winning the conference and then... Uh, you know, getting better every play, every game, heading into their playoff run. Yep. Our uh, referees tonight. Get there. Our umpire is Ken Allen. Our head referee is Mark Stewart. Head linesman is Scott Jones. Our line judge is Dave Jones. And the back judge is Mark Holland. All right, Bill, back deep for the Vikings. They're going to receive right here Cooper Benson. And uh, looks like number 13 here. Is that what you know? That, excuse 43. me, that's 43. Ruben yeah. Martinez. He's going to do the kicking. Ruben's a six foot junior here. And we are underway that's from cool. Memorial Stadium. Cooper Benson's going to let it go into the end zone. Yep. Big strong kick there. Good kick. You know, in uh, high school football, ball goes into the end zone, plays dead anyway. So if Cooper had backed up any further, he wasn't coming out. Yep. So the Vikings will go to work at the 25-yard line. Vikings coming in a little bit healthier, I would say, than uh, sounds like what uh, Traverse City is, Bill. Yeah, got some injuries, uh, notably number 80, Ryan Hayes. He's their University of Michigan uh, commitment. commitment. And uh, he is six foot seven, 255, so defensively that's a, a big person off that line. 
Also, the, uh, they're missing Jacob Pulaski and a, and a couple other ones we'll get to as the game goes on. But Tip Baker for the Vikings under center. In motion is Benson to give right up the middle. Conservative first down play. Probably a good call. You know, kids are jacked up, ready to play here. Vikings get about two yards on that. Ball is on the 23. That was Cole Flint with the carry. And the uh, TC West doing a good job defensively, giving up 94 points all season. So they're averaging about 15 points on defense, which is uh, pretty darn good. Second down and eight now for the Vikings. <laughs> Procedure against the Vikings, so that'll take five yards away. The second down and now about uh, 12. Did you get a lot of candy out there today in the parade, Bill? Yeah, or were you uh, throwing candy? I was uh, pushing a few of the little kids out of the way, and so, <laughs> but uh, you know, I think they understood. <laughs> now I saw the uh, the band downtown, and uh, what a sight that was! They were playing for people walking down the street. Now it's uh, second down. Tip Baker will keep it along the left side. He's still on his feet. He'll get back to the 23-yard line. That's going to bring up a long third down here after the penalty. The Vikes are up to third and eight, eight and a half For early the, in the ball game. Yeah, the, the Vikings uh, center is Ryan Cox, number 55, and we'll try and get a few more of the names in that offensive line Defensively for Traverse City West, we have number 44, Tom Morgenstern. Uh, number 12 is, uh, actually I don't have a number 12 on here, Dan, so we might have to pick that up at some point on defense. Here's a pitch out wide to Benson. Benson is met right there by a Titan at the That's 20. That's a nice tackle right there. Head was up, did a nice job of wrapping. Where number one, Andrew Campbell, that senior with a nice tackle. Campbell is uh, one of their big running backs and also a star uh, defensive back. for. And Jefferson he's also West. back uh, right here to receive Cadillac's first punt of the game, standing between their 40 and 45-yard line waiting for this punt. Cooper Benson for the Vikings standing on his 10. He gets a nice foot into this one high towards midfield. Fair catch called right yep. at the 50-yard right 50. 50 line. So good field position for Traverse City. That's where they'll take over. And uh, Cole, Cole Flint did a nice job right there coming down the sideline and uh, saw that fair catch signal and at the last moment got out of the way, avoiding a penalty for the Vikings. We have a, a nice list of sponsors tonight too, Dan, which is good to see. And uh, hopefully we'll keep that growing with girls and boys basketball and hockey coming up this uh, winter. Those two seasons, or excuse me, those winter seasons are just a few weeks away from starting already. Yep. All right, the Titans right at the 50-yard line. I think Sam DeKuyper, number 16, quarterback under center. Here's the give off the left side. Good job by the Vikings to wrap Looked up. Looked like that was number 40 right in there, Bill. Starting that out, nice tackle for the Vikings. Two with the carry. Now that's uh, Josh Dean, number two. No gain. Excellent read by the defense. Yeah, Sam Platt with that, number 58. Traverse City runs a lot of the similar sets that you see the Vikings run, so we won't see anything catch anybody off There's guard here tonight. Up the, up the middle, the Vikings are all over that one, a couple yard gain. Couldn't tell who had the ball on that one. First two runs kind of following right behind the big center for uh, Traverse City. They're going to end up right now with third and seven here. Dan, do you have a number on their center? Because I always like to get a, a shout out to the centers. They are a very integral part of that offensive line. I'll try and get that here pretty soon. All right, it is third down and seven from the 47. Here's a give up the, the middle, middle again. And right near the sticks, 
Looks like he might have it. Now they're a little bit short on the mark, Dan. Yeah, it looked like they were running right behind number 77, Colin Smallwood right there. He's 6'1", 250 pounds. Probably a wise choice on that play to run behind him. I would expect they'll go for this. I would think so. This is kind of no man's land as far as uh, the punting and the kicking game. So fourth down and one to Kuiper. He He'll runs it up it. the middle, yep. He's got her, Bill. He's got it, no problem. No flags, so it'll be a first down for the Titans. Just inside the 40, we'll mark it at the 38. We want to thank uh, Napa Auto Parts, Wolverine Power Cooperative and Great Lakes Energy, along with Munson Healthcare, LC Materials, Cadillac Tire, the Walkley Agency, and we'll get the rest of these in just a moment. First down and 10 for the Titans. Handoff on the oh. right side is at number 26, Dan. I was watching Bob Cadillac, Tech. Bill. I had just noticed uh, subbing just before that play was big number 74 for the Vikings. Christian and that's right where Traverse City headed, and, and Christian Beal did a great job holding that up uh, to a short one, two-yard gain. So Labonte, number 26, has uh, had the last two carries. Nice to have uh, Ross Myring back as the PA announcer. Always good to get Ross back doing that for us here in Cadillac. Here's a give up the middle. Still going on the left side, breaking out into the open, trying to bring him down, and finally they wrestle him at the 12. That was uh, Andrew Campbell with a great run. That's a big play early in the game right here. Probably about 20, 22 yards on that run. They're going to be on uh, about 13-yard line. Vikings had been doing a good job containment-wise on the running game, but that was the first big run of the game. Looks like number 78 on the center. Might be Donovan Kennedy. Here's a give off the left side, number 9. That's John Jerkovich with the carry. He's down to about the 10. Second down and seven for the Titans. Vikings defensively have... Uh, now big to Sam Platt with another tackle right there, Bill. It's been busy early on. Also have uh, Jake Kahani on that defensive line along with Christian Beal. Platt, uh, 60, right side there. There's a quick give to number seven, the Vikings. Defense is right there. They meet him and push him back right at the 10. Not sure who started that tackle, but it, once again, Sam Platt sure finished it off. He caught that West running back in a, in a tough position. He was already all tied up underneath, and Sam buried him from the top down. Sean Deeren, number seven. He's the 5'7", uh, 170 junior with that carry. He's going to bring third and six. This is a big play early in the game here. Cadillac would love to do nothing but uh, give up maybe three points here or force a four and out. There's First a pass, pass into the corner, wide open, and touchdown for the Titans. That is number nine, John Jerkovich. Good play action there, Dan. Let's see if we got a replay of that, everybody. See how he was able to get wide open during that. And the Titans will attempt the extra point. Let's see if they're going to be kicking. It looks like... Yes, they will okay. be kicking. Looks like we'll get a replay, everybody, after the extra point here. A little bit of a different formation here on this. No, they're actually going to go for two. They got four out to the left. There's a pass to 26, and Labonte will make it in for the extra two points. Vikings were in good position to make a play right there. Tip Baker missed the tackle, slipped a little bit. Oh, just like that, it's 8 nothing TC West. Yes, um, we look to see if we can get the replay of the scoring pass here. Here it comes. Trying to see on the coverage there. Hard yeah. to tell who was out there, but uh, it might have been Keegan. But anyway, it was a, a well-designed play on it the was. on the fake and then the pass. And we want to get the rest of our sponsors in. We said the Walkley Agency, Fox Mortars of Cadillac, Godfrey Chevrolet Buick, Pizza Plus, Doug Glass. Big thanks to all of our sponsors to help bring you this sports presentation. And if you are interested 
Uh, we've got boys and girls basketball coming up along with hockey. You can call our sales team at 231-577-1844 or you can email the sales at mynews26.com. All right, so the Traverse City will kick it off to the Vikings for the second time tonight. We have 5.33 to go here in the first quarter. Dan Gussert, Elena Hess, and Bill Dooley bringing you the action from Memorial Stadium. That was uh, Jerkovic, number nine, had the two-point conversion. And the TD was to who again, Bill? Uh, TD was uh, Lobante, number 26. Along the left side, the Vikings will get it out just over the 25. Nice return by Cooper Benson right there. Over on the far side of the field, uh, Chang Gang uh, working with both teams here, setting the yardages. Uh, we got a lot of people doing that. Appreciate all that they do for us. Brad Hallowell, we got Nick Jacobson, we got Greg Erickson, and then the Mikes, Mike Stevens and Mike Dolak. Right. Vikings first and 10 from their own 25 yard line. In motion is Cooper Benson. There's a give right up the or a keeper by Baker. And he's met there by a plethora of Titans. Uh, that's that read play. Cadillac runs real well. Tip's job is to uh, look the defense over as he makes that handoff, pulls the ball back at the last moment. Uh, but West, you know, they had him cover two on that play. Very little gain for the Vikings on first down. And basically defensively, Dan, you're looking at you know covering your gaps uh, on defense. So you're even though they may have a couple of different reads, as long as you fill that gap, uh, linebackers, uh, that's the main thing against that, that read offense. So it is now second down and 10. A little bit of fumble with the ball. He gets it out wide, and he's got a couple hard-earned yards. Trying to uh, see who comes up with that toss, Dan. I can't see the numbers. Is that Was that Keegan? Uh, I, I think th it was. And once again, that was number 12 on a tackle right there. We'll have to find out who that is yeah. for TC out there. Third down and eight. Vikings need something right here just to keep the, the clock and keep the possession going here. There's a flag on an illegal procedure. The Vikings get the first down, but it'll probably come back on an illegal procedure. We'll wait for the referee on the call. Number 44, I believe, for the Vikings. Yep, that was 44 for the Vikings on the movement. That's Seth Olson. That's going to now make it third down and 13 for the Vikings. Want to shout out to our crew tonight. Wyatt Van Dynen is our director, along with graphics and replay is Heather Stilson. We'll get our camera people here in just a moment. The Vikings need a big play here on third down. There's a keeper by Baker, and he's met right there. I think that was Morgan Stern. Rosa also on the tackle, 31 right there. Oh, that was uh, Seferdini, Odin uh -huh. Seferdini, 6'1", 215 junior. And that's going to bring up fourth down in a kicking situation for the Vikes. Well, no luck on who's wearing number 12, Bill. I'm wondering if that could possibly be Josh Dean, who we were told early on would be wearing number two tonight. We'll have to do some more digging on that. And we'll Apologize, everybody. Cooper Benson with a short shanking kick over to the sidelines and around the 37, maybe. So great field position for the Titans, Dan. So they're going to be well into Viking territory. 318 to go, already up 8 nothing. And now for our camera uh, crew tonight, we have Cameron Beal, and his brother is uh, Christian Beal out on the field for Cadillac. We also have Cameron Maitland, and Cameron's brother is uh, Alec Barshevsky. Yep. 
And we also have Bailey Hoover on camera. So uh, they always do a great job for us. And uh, we have three cameras set up. We've got replay situation. We also have another crew tonight going, uh, Jeff Castillo up there in uh, Mesa. Yeah. So Kyle Barnes does take the snaps for West here, number 59. Okay, that's their center, Dan. Yep, 230-pounder. They do have a big team. They've got some, some poundage on both yeah. the defense and the offensive line. Oh, yeah, when, line. You, when you th throw in Sawyer for Kett on, this, uh, on our left side of the, their left side, our near side, you know, they're, they're good-sized fellas. Under three minutes to go here in the first quarter. The Titans are up eight to nothing, and they are driving the ball to Viking 34. Here's a give to Labonte. A little dive over the right side, not much. That's going to make it about a third and five, third and six. Good job by that that interior line of the Vikings there to, to hold them back. Well, as outsized as they are, they have to make a big commitment to stopping that run, which makes that, you know, the, f the fake that we saw in the touchdown pass all the better for Traverse City and their arsenal of weapons here tonight. All right, third down and six to Kuiper. Going to keep it, looking to pass. He's got a little pressure from behind. Nice tackle oh. there by number 40. Not must sure who's wearing 40 tonight. Must have been called up from the JV, Dan, but that was a great play there to sack the quarterback. Owen Klaus, I guess, is wearing number 40 tonight as I hear Ross Meyering in the background holler okay. out. We're going to make a change on that. So Owen is number 40. He has been number 60 last time mm -hmm. we were doing a game. So it's fourth down and six. The Titans from the... 38-yard line. So they got to get down to the 32. There's a keeper taken out to Kuiper. He's got a man wide open. That's Campbell. Campbell down the sideline to the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. Uh -huh. Touchdown, Campbell. What a big play right there. That is about a 33-yard TD pass. Andrew Campbell, the senior, rumbles in about 38 yards for that TD. A nice, uh, nice fake and pass by Sam to Kuiper. That one uh, with a minute 18 to go here in the first quarter. So out of this set last time, uh, TC made a quick pass out to their left. We'll see what they choose to do this time. You've got a single receiver split out to the right. Can't get the, I don't have the number on him. Same Taking it, play. same thing. Labonte drops it. He was uh, looking to run before he caught the ball on that, Bill. So with the six points, we have a 14 to nothing. Traverse City West Titans with the lead here in the first quarter. So for the Vikings, it has not been the power running of Traverse City, although that's setting up the, the two touchdown passes here by West early on in this game. Yeah, passing is, uh, has been very effective so far. Last week, uh, they had 10 passes, 10 pass attempts to Ryan Hayes, who is not in the game tonight, so they're not afraid to throw the ball. Do we get a number, uh, Dan? A number 12? 12 is Josh Dean. Okay. Yeah. He's went from 22 to 2 to now 12. <laughs> so. Well, we knew number 2, Jacob Pulaski, was out due to an injury. Um, so Josh Dean will be wearing number 12 tonight. We'll get that. Correct it up for everybody as TC gets ready to kick again early in the first quarter. Excuse me, late in the first quarter. They're up 14 zip. Ruben Martinez, the six foot, 210 junior, kicking off for Traverse City. There's a low line shot, takes a bounce to the up person. That might be Tip Baker. Tip Baker still on his feet all the way to the 40. A very nice run, and he's met there by number 48. Well, I don't have. That number for Traverse City West. I think either. that was 45, 45, Bill. Kyle Withers. Okay. Kyle is a 5'11", 210 junior. Uh, he's running linebacker out there for him, along with number 44, Tom Morgan's, Morgan's turn. Just over a minute to go here, first quarter. 14 to nothing. West with the lead. It is homecoming for the Vikings. 
Next week, Cadillac will welcome the Manistee Chippewas to Memorial Stadium. And the West, I believe they're going to be playing Gaylord next week. Yeah, they've got Gaylord coming up. So the Vikings find themselves in a big hole early in this game, down 14 nothing. Too early to panic. We'll see what they do here. Keeper by Baker. He's Baker's gonna got go, a lot though. of territory open. He's at the 40, the 30. He's got one man to beat. He's at the 20, the 10, 5. Touchdown, Touchdown. Cadillac. We got to definitely get a replay of that one, Bill. Great read there by Tip Baker. And the Vikings answer Traverse City West. That was a, approximately a 60-yarder. Yep, yep. Great run. Good read. One missed tackle and uh, obviously a great job Viking uh, offensive line blocking. Chase Childers was the last uh, defender. The snap is up. And it is good. Emma Lloyd puts it through for the extra point, and that'll cut the lead to 14 to 7. Let's we see if we got a replay of that one. big touchdown run now, everybody. There he goes. He is running wide right there. Number four here, Childers, going to make one diving attempt. Doesn't get him. Great speed there by. What a great job by the camera crew getting that replay, Bill. Yes, it was. He had some fireworks there, too, for the home crowd. Just what the uh, doctor ordered for Cadillac. That'll get the Vikings uh, right back in the game. 56. Oh, 20 seconds, excuse me. About 22 seconds right after Traverse City. I just make it 14 nothing. The Vikes come right back. That was the first play from scrimmage, right, Dan? On that, yes. On that play? Second play. Second Se one. Second, okay. Campbell is back to receive deep. Also, Childers is back on the left side, and we've got number 26, looks like Labonte, on the right side for Traverse City. Emma Lloyd for the Vikings will boot it to the right side. Taken by Childers. Childers gets behind his blockers up the middle. He's got a little seam, and Childers explodes up to the 46. A nice run by Chase Childers. He's a senior. So nice kick by Emma Lloyd. Uh, good job on her part to angle that runner towards a teammate. They've got a, a bunch of good runners, Dan, as far as their running backs, and they'll, they spread them around, so it's hard to get it to somebody who's not used to running the ball. Traverse City now with about 49 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Their lead was cut in half. It's 14-7 to seven now. Sam to Kuiper gets his squad ready. There's a give to Labonte on the right side. Labonte bangs up to the 50 where he stopped. Trying to see which uh, Viking 40. 40, four, yep. Uh, Owen. Owen Klaus along with Leif Erickson, 52. Nice five-yard gain for Traverse City. Close to five. They're going to get another play here before the first quarter. Right at midfield. There's a gift straight up the middle. That's definitely going to be a first down, Bill, and that'll probably take us into the end of the first quarter here. Campbell with the carry for Traverse City. 11 seconds. The chains are going to move up. Uh, and Traverse City hurries right to the line, trying to catch the Vikings off guard here. And then uh, they decide not to run anything. Yep. That's smart play. Yeah, see if they can get them to, yep. to jump. Well, you might catch somebody running off the field a little early. I mean, you got a lot of potential for big oh. play. All right, after the first quarter is the Traverse City West Titans 14, the Cadillac Vikings 7. You are watching high school football action on 26 Sports and CCTV. We'll be right back with the second quarter. <laughs> 